It's Gianfranco uh, from the Netherlands, or perhaps I should say from the European Union, that is of course where I live and my, um, my geopolitical entity, my country of focus in a way. Uh, you know, I, I work in data and in data strategy for Capgemini Invent, it's uh, the collaborative data ecosystem topic that is the one I care the most about and I work on every day. There's something that I believe is particularly relevant to you if you're coming to this world uh, either as newbies, perhaps you're learning uh, what all of this fuzz about data sharing is about, or perhaps you want to know a little more of what you've been able to learn for yourselves. And particularly from a European perspective, what is really interesting is a combination of two words that you will hear uh, a lot uh, over the next few years. It's uh, data space. So data space, don't, don't get frightened. This is not about going into space or putting data in on Mars or anything. We refer to data spaces, we use the term data space when we want to refer to a more modern way uh, to do uh, data sharing. It's not necessarily, let's say, the one-to-one -one, uh, data sharing kind that you may have had experience of for sure, perhaps uh, along your supply chain. You share data with your suppliers, you share data with your customers, your clients. It's just obvious in that case, we've been doing this for decades. More recently, perhaps it's more common a model where we have an intermediary at the center. Without going into the detail, we rely on a third party uh, to be the custodian of this kind of exchange uh, between uh, parties. In fact, sometimes we simply call it data exchange as a term. Uh, a data space refers more to the idea that we do not necessarily need that intermediary at the center. And it's in a perfectly, uh, let's say, ideal world Everybody talks to each other, uh, facilitated, regulated by the technology that supports us. Now, this may feel a bit of a, a science fiction scenario, uh, but actually it is closer than you may imagine. Organizations in Europe have been working on standards and processes and rule books to achieve that already for a few years now. Uh, Capgemini is a member of the International Data Spaces Association that is one of those organizations. We also support My Data Global, that is a non-profit that has been researching these topics since before the General Data Protection Regulation in Europe. And the European Union itself has been very active in promoting this model. So one step at a time, but we are going there. If you find out more about uh, something called Digital Europe, it's a program in the European Commission for promoting, uh, among the other things, technology such as uh, data spaces. Uh, there's millions, hundreds of millions of euros uh, that have been set aside to um, uh, sponsor research and implementing the first data spaces in Europe. And it sounds like something public sector is doing, so it is about public sector, no. It is something that Europe does to develop the economy in Europe in general. There are data spaces for most of the major industries in the continent, from agriculture to, uh, to uh, mobility to smart communities, uh, finance and so on. So the, the bet that Europe is taking is that we need to accelerate the progress by which these modern data sharing environments are understood and created because so much of the future data economy depends on that. So do not underestimate when you hear those little two words, data space, because they're coming for you and, and you want to be at least aware of the opportunity that's come from that. And then if you decide you're more the kind of uh, person who would use a more traditional model for data sharing, it's good for you, not a problem at all. We will be able to help you with that anyway. But be aware of those opportunities that are coming.